Patriot Magnets here and we're here at a new location so hopefully we're going to find some treats I've got my 500 kilogram that I got from a Magnet Store excellent, that's my favourite one and it's what's been finding 99% of my stuff and I've got my 400 multi-way with me um, double sided so we're going to have a bit of a tickle some little Tommy's over there beeping I'm trying to interrupt my video um, but we're just going to crack on and get some fines. Just want to say two massive thank yous. One to Magnet Store. What an amazing company they are. I only use their magnets uh, because I reckon they're the better quality. And I think the proof's in what I pull out in the videos. Um, very strong, very reliable. And so is the uh, Magnet Store as well. The customer service is mwah, excellent. Yeah, so I recommend getting your magnets from there. I'll personally only use them for my videos and my finds. So uh, yeah, get them. And another shout out to um, Customise in Middleton, where I get my logos, all my stuff done. This is embroidered. It's embroidered, and that's where I get my T-shirts done. So Customise, I'm going to put a link somewhere here and I'll put it in the description below to get all your products from there excellent family business and uh, that's personally who I'd only use as well I haven't even set up yet I'm just walking along there's a Primark bag there so I always check the usual dumping grounds on my location so I'm just going to see what's in that bag all that you got a Primark shoe uh, spike take that home Uh, I ain't got a clue what that is, so that's coming home. That's like a bit of a chain, that's definitely coming home. Strap. Got a two P. Yeah, man. Nice bit of whatever that is. Don't know what that is. We'll keep it. A nice key, what like that? What is that? I ain't got a clue what that is. Some sort of chisel. Yeah, part of the hacksaw. It's in 
the frame. I wonder what that is. We'll have a look at that. All the rest can go in the junk. I don't know what that is. Let's pull this up. It's got some sort of components in there. These are loose, innit? These parts. I got a clue. Possibly a bit of a chain. So we'll. I don't know what that is. So we'll have a look at that as well. And that's another piece of a chain. And another piece. Okay, what is that? It's got a funnel on it. Well, that bit just fell off. That's weird, isn't it? I'll have a look at these. Definitely. Mm. Yet yeah, again, I've got a clue, so that's uh, worthy of a second look. That's different, isn't it? <sighs> Spiky pole. Different. And that's a square nail, I'll have a closer look at that. Oh, that's interesting. What's that? That looks like a little bullet. Doesn't it? Let's have a closer look. Yeah, ladies and gents. Oh, 
Let's go around and don't know what that is, we'll have a look at that. Here's some more chain. There we go. Got something on the end of it. So we'll take that baby home and have a look, closer look. Wheels off a shopping trolley and a bike lock. Have a metal bar. I think that's part of a Swiss army knife, don't know. I don't know what that is, so we'll have a look. Right, what an excellent hour I've just had out. Uh, nice and simple. Let's go down to one of my local places nearby and uh, see what we can find. I have hit that bridge a few times. So, uh, um, and it still just keeps giving and giving and giving. So let's crack on. There's, um, this is probably one of my best cleanups that I've done. There are things that I can't identify, and obviously um, when I've scrubbed them up, they've revealed um, either some numbers, letters, or a different distinguishing features. So let's crack on with it. Um, we'll go for the main ones first, like this. Now. I'm not sure, I think it's used it, used it on a building site. Is it to uh, split bricks? Chisel? It's got a chisel end anyway, and there's a bit missing there, so that's why it's probably got ditched. But like I said, I have done this, this bridge about four times now, and it just keeps giving and giving this. So that's the first item. I'm going to go for the ones that I can identify. So we have got like part of a hacksaw. Minus the end bit for tightening the blades on. There we go. A nice key, says zone on it. I've not had one of them since it's got a zone on. 5p, two 2p's and a penny. This is part of a watch strap. This here, I have not got a clue. It is magnetic. I it won't have stuck. It feels really plastic. But unless there's a metal item inside it, in case I haven't got a clue what it is. So please, if anybody can identify that. It is quite light. This is just a random piece of metal, but then a hole appeared, so I thought it might be a plate of some sort with some uh, inscribing on it, but it doesn't, so that's just a random piece. Might as well do these. This chain here, that looks like it's been down there for years, all corroded and wore away. This chain here. Yep. I have this big chain here, and part way down, it's got this on. And part way in the middle, it's got a clip, so you can uh, take things off, put things on. Hmm, interesting. There we go. We have this nut, uh, sorry a bolt, I keep calling them nuts, I think it says G F D initials, and I can't really make out what that says there, 
8.8. We have had these before. Hmm. But like I said, you know, at the, the beginning that you, you never know what you're going to pull up. So up until you take it home, I mean, people might just be throwing things to one side because, you know, they think it's just worthless. But this is history that we're pulling up, guys. I mean, check this out. This was just a mass of crud. But look at that. Craftsmanship there. Beautiful. And um, this item here, obviously it goes on something, so I'm thinking it could be part of a, a multi-tool. Or a um, Swiss Army knife. I'm not too sure. There's no markings on it. That's what makes me think it's part of a, a multi-tool. Hmm. Alright, what else are we going to go for? This was just a massive crud as well. I thought it was a chain. It's actually a little lot, a little keychain holder. So yeah, this here. Uh, I thought it was a tin of some some sort, a lid, but it's got two holes in it, so it could be. And I'm thinking it could be uh, the back of a belt, the belt buckle. Not too sure on that one. Quite ace of all them pitted marks in it though. Hmm. This is a part of something I don't know. It could be um, a jig for somebody using to drill holes um, for woodwork. Some sort of factory, I don't know. It could be a hinge of some sort. Yeah. But I didn't even know it had holes in it when I started cleaning it up so it's surprising what you find this is excellent so this was just a big clump so if you look closely it's got 50 44 40 and 31 so it has got a bit of a measuring device and lines there so that's some sort of template or measuring apparatus homemade or not as you can see you know the the 50 and the 44 these have actually been stamped get it closer there you can see the lines now so if anyone knows what that's off that's actually been self stamped or machine stamped it's a bit wonky like but that is excellent I love stuff like this this is what I do magnet fishing for for finding items and I haven't got a clue what they are and this is where you guys come in. You know, you're the viewers. You, know, you can tell me where they come from. But that is a keeper, that, because I ain't got a clue what it is. But because it's uh, stamped and everything, I'm having that. That looks old stamping as well. Anyway, enough of that. This here, when I pulled it up, obviously it was the metal part. But then they've got rubber. So this part's rubber and this part's metal. But up on cleaning, it actually says 55 millimeters. Yet again, stamped, patent, England, two and a half. And I'm not sure where it's going with that. But the most cracking thing about this is look at that little compass in the middle. It's got north, east, south and west and then the compass pointing in different direction. That is amazing. I'd love to know what this was off. And uh, Like I said, this is probably my best clean up for finding things with uh, stamps on them, writing. And this is why I do magnet fishing as well because I love stuff like this. Don't get me wrong, I like finding the other stuff but history is... Uh, one of my main ones, so I'm chuffed to bits with that. Same again with this. This come up, and if I think it's worth a second look, I'll take it home and have a second look. Now, I haven't got a clue what this is. Get you the size of it. 
and it does say you can see there it says back you've got a little pin here and it's got a split pin but it's actually brass the split pin now they don't normally put brass split pins in any old thing so that please ladies and gentlemen what is it used for and while we're on the brass subject one of my favorite ones is this now I thought it's just a big clump of metal but upon giving it a scrub these babies appeared these little brass end bits now to me I don't know about you guys but that's a handle for something now I'd like to think it's like a handle for a sword you know with the end bits here uh, you're probably laughing at me now, but it's wishful thinking, isn't it? Um, but that, 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 ladies and gents, is amazing. Can't find any stamping on it, so I'm going to soak this in um, some vinegar or some harpic. Maybe do electrolysis on it. Get all the rest of this off, because I don't want to start banging it around. This is just, I just scrubbed it up with, um, I'll show you the apparatus I use in a minute. But that, ladies and gents, I'm intrigued about that one. And as you can see, it's just perfect for your hand. Yeah. Right, another one of my second one favourites is this. Now, to me, it immediately looks blade shape with the way it curves up. Uh, but I could be wrong, it could be a chisel or a file. It is a curved end, whether that's um, was made like that or it's just ended up like that over the years. But there's nothing stamped on here. But just the size of it, it does look like a file. But it's just this little bit in the middle that's through me. The way it goes up, curved and then down into, you know, possibly a bit more on there, I don't know. But that, ladies and gents, I've got, I mean, I was only out for an hour in my local spot, and, you know, this is what I've come up with. Right, I'm going to show you what I use now. Sorry, they're a bit crude, they're a bit used. A uh, little wire brush. The temperament's different, the wires on here, to it is the gold ones. The gold ones are a bit rougher to the silver ones. So I use that. M2. I've got this little wood hammer. I call it a wood hammer because you mainly use it for woodwork and that. Um, and that's just to chip away at things and give it a quick bang. I've got these little files here. I mean, this is a triangle one. Um, just to get into little bits. And then that just to wipe all the stuff off with. So ladies and gents, I am chuffed to bits with them finds today. So I'm going to put some pictures of close up of the uh, writing and that. So please, please help me identify these items. Um, only out for an hour like I said, but some belting finds there. Alright, so here we are ladies and gents. I've cleaned this bullet up. I'm unsure of what this is. I did put it on my uh, Patriot Magnets Facebook page because it's got no identification there no stamps or anything there we go and this is the actual well that's the casing isn't it and this is the actual bullet tip I'm very confused about what sort of caliber it is um, people said it's could be a 2-2 I don't know, but any ideas, ladies and gents, of what sort of calibre that is and why it's got no markings on it. Very puzzling, isn't it? But there you go. And I'm just going to keep hitting that spot until I uh, lick it clean. So um, thank you very much, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next adventure on the Rochdale Canal.